I'm comfortable. I read the procedures. I don't forget anything. I multitask. I work well in any altitude. I'm on the bright side. I fly through 16 days a night. I carry my atmosphere in a bag. This is Houston. Please call station for a voice check. This is Thomas Reiter calling from the Vatican. How can you read me? I have you loud and clear. Great to see you, and I hand over now to His Holiness, Papst Benedict the Sixteenth. Dear astronaut, I would like to ask to ask you a few questions. First question. When you are contemplating the earth from up there, so you ever wonder about how science can contribute to the cause of peace? I'm an engineer, a scientist. I experiment. I sometimes have to pump blood out of my veins. If I'm not careful, it flies all around me. I suck it onto my tongue. It tastes of metal and radiation. When I float around like this, paler than usual, I find a certain kind of peace. Second question. From your extraordinary observation point, how do you see the situation on Earth? I'm up very high. I understand how small we are. I sometimes wonder how God ever manages to see our faces from so far away. My third question. In the midst of your intense work and research, do you ever stop and reflect like this, perhaps even to say a prayer to the creature? I reflect all the time. I reflect, scan and read. I reflect, scan and read. I calculate galaxies. I process sensations. But, Your Holiness, I suspect this may not be the same as Praying. Dear astronaut, I thank you warmly for this wonderful opportunity 
to meet and dialogue with you. This is Houston ACR. That concludes the event in Vatican City. Thank you. Thanks, all of you. Bye. Bye. I'm comfortable. Bye. I read the procedures. Bye. I don't forget anything. Bye. I multitask. I work well in any altitude. I'm on the bright side. I fly through 16 nights a day. I carry my atmosphere in a bag. I'm comfortable. Bye. I read the procedures. Bye. I don't forget anything. Bye. I multitask. Houston, please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Brad. How do you hear me? Uh, I have you loud and clear. I gotta tell you, this is a real treat. Real pleasure to be talking to you up there. The pleasure is mine, Brad. Uh, I loved your work in Sleepers. Sleep, sleep brings us to the unconscious. It is a negation of the intellect. I, I think we may soon leave sleep behind. It's, it's just incredible to think what the future is going to bring. I am just grateful to be up here. From up here, the future comes as quickly as the horizon. Ah, uh, I bet. Um, how, how do you keep your mental state at peace? Well, I've tried a couple of things. And the best method I've found is working on the brain. When I touch it here, my limbs relax. When I press it there, I can hear the sun turn. When I massage it everywhere, I'm in heaven. To me, it sounds harrowing and, and really challenging. Um, I read astronauts um, uh, speak about looking back on the Earth and, and really being aware how insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. Did you have a similar experience or, or something different? <laughs> that I have. When I look down, I see myself looking back. It feels good. Uh, I think that's really beautiful to hear. I'm comfortable. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communication. I read the procedures. I don't forget. 
get anything. I, I multitask. We'd like to thank Brad Pitt for participating today. I work well in any altitude. I, I'm back on the bright side. I fly through 60 nights a day. I carry my atmosphere in a bag. I see myself. I'm shiny. I'm a star. I'm comfortable. procedures I don't forget anything I multitask I work well in any altitude I'm on the bright side I fly through 16 nights a day my atmosphere in a bag I see myself I'm the star I'm shiny The President of the United States I'm massive Aloha I Listen, we've got a bunch of young people here. I want to see if uh, any of them uh, have some questions. Anybody have a question over here? Okay, this. hold on. We've got a young lady right here who's got a question. As an astronaut, what do you eat? Did you hear that question? They want to know what you guys are eating up there. Eating is boring. Humans eating are monkeys munching away their brains from below. The universe runs on electrons. All I need are those. Uh, any of the young people have another question? This young man right here? Hold on one second. Have you found any life forms or any plants out in space? It's a good question. Any uh, any life forms out there? I have small bags of chemicals. I let them float around me. I say to myself. I 
myself I'm the Passing through another orbit, another orbit, another orbit, burning through another orbit, boring through another orbit, boring through another orbit, boring through another orbit. My planets, my planets, shut up! I let them, 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 I let them